Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is editorial for the problem Road Reparation taken from CSCS Graph Algorithm section. The problem that we are going to solve revolves around disjoint data set and spanning tree. And of course the problem is of medium hard difficulty level. So let's see what the problem statement says. Uh, so you are given n cities and m roads between them but the condition of the road is so poor they cannot be used so we have to repair them right but we have to uh, consider we have to keep in mind two important conditions first re repairing a certain edge or certain road requires uh, of course certain cost right so we have to repair in such a way that minimizes the overall cost and other condition is that you there should be uh, you can choose how many roads you want to uh, repair and after rep repairing the edges there should be an uh, there should be a path between any two cities uh, between any two cities basically in a graph between any two edge there should be a path right after repairing so of course uh, you have to uh, either if it is possible you have to print the minimum total cost of reparation otherwise you need to print impossible let's have a look at both the cases for example suppose this was input one right so these four edges are given there are four uh, nodes also but all of these are useless so we need to repair them so suppose i repaired this this and this edge so now in my uh, graph i have these three edges so the overall cost comes out to be four right i don't need to repair this one because first i need to keep the cost minimum second uh, second condition is that there should be path between any two nodes in a graph and that already exist here right so we don't need to repair the fourth edge right so we will print simply answer four suppose this was the other input so here you see no matter how many edges you uh what do i say repair they there won't be any path from node one to node two node one to node four or uh, three to four or three to two you see so in that case we will print impossible because the second condition is not being met that there should be a path between any two node of a graph right so that condition is not being met and hence we will print impossible so we need to take care of this as well now let's have a look at prerequisites of course we are going to use disjoint data sets so i'm uh, assuming that you are well aware with disjoint set uh, data set with path compression right i have lectures for both of these so don't worry you can go ahead and look at uh, look at these if you are not aware with these basics of graph theory of course and the knowledge of uh, connected components these are prerequisites now before we move on to the solution in the last few days you have been hearing about re-level tests and some of you have registered for a test as well and a lot of you have told me that you haven't been able to register for multiple reasons I have some exciting news for you. Relevel has launched two new tests in the domain of business analytics and data analytics roles. There are some amazing companies on board with packages up to 22 LPA. Sign up on the platform today to check out all the companies like Cred, Upgrade, Razorpay, Yatra, ETC hiring from Relevel. You can even try out free sample papers to assess your skills for the test. You just need 150 mark in the first phase to qualify for the second phase. And after the second phase, a 700 plus score lands you with interviews, job opportunities and some amazing re-level swags. Re-level tests are completely free with no hidden charges and no monetary terms and conditions. Once you qualify for the re-level test, you have access to 1000 plus job across top companies. They guarantee you a package of minimum 4 LPA for non-tech roles and 6 LPA for tech roles. Book a free slot for re-level tests. So click in the link provided in the description of the video and click get hired. Select the type of job you want to do, for example, backend development. Click select and then book your free slot. Select the tech stack. Suppose I want to work with Python. Continue and then select the date. So I'm going with 30 October and next after that okay uh of course if you are filling this for the first time you have to fill in some uh details extra details okay so fill that and then uh enter all of the important details and then save and here you go your slot is booked go ahead and book your slots today now let's head back to our lecture let's move on to the solution so solution is simple if you know about mst that is minimum spanning tree all we have to do is find 
minimum spanning tree and along with that we need to keep track of how many edges we have added right we have to find minimum spanning tree and we need to keep track of edges right why is that so see if i show you the this example hey see you you will try to make a uh, uh, minimum spanning tree how many edges have you added one and two only right so just keep uh, track of how many edges you have added if the number of edges that you have added that means your count is equals to n minus 1 where n represents number of nodes then you can print the co cost of msd because that will be your solution why see uh, when you build an msd out of a graph uh, the msd makes sure that you have the minimum cost to build that tree right and when you have a tree with n nodes and n minus 1 edges that means there exists a path between any two nodes right so if you have n minus no edges that means it is a valid mst and hence you can print the cost of the mst otherwise you will print impossible if you are having less than that number of edges so this will be your solution and of course i have uh, the reason i have explained already right so let me go ahead and show you the code so this is an accepted solution right so what i am doing i define uh, an, a structure edge three fields a b and weight because this will be given you as input all of the uh, edges are weighted right there is an edge from a between a and b with this weight right and of course this is an edge list and a parent array because i'm using disjoint data set these two function you are already aware of if you know or if you are you are aware of uh, a disjoint data set this is, this is fine and this is merge merge i have modified to return whether this edge needs to be added or not okay uh, if a and b are already basically we are saying hey merge a and b so we'll merge a and b if and only if they do not belong to the same uh, uh, disjoint uh, set right so if they already belong then we can return false because we don't need to add otherwise i'm simply updating the parent of a right and returning true that yep you need to add this edge so this is fine function this is merge function you are already aware of that and this is a comparator function to sort the edges in uh in the increasing order based on the weight right so everything is clear now here what i'm doing i'm doing nothing this is edge count the count variable and uh, temporary edge so what i'm doing reading n and m m the number of nodes m of course number of edges i'm initializing parent of each node as minus one that i'll be using in disjoint data set and then reading m edges and inserting in edge list after that sorting the edge list right after that I'm going through each of the edges and checking whether this needs to be added or not. If merge returns true, that means this edge needs to be added and hence your result will be incremented by the weight of the current edge, right? Your result is initialized with zero, you can see. And you need to increment the count size, uh, uh, of course, this uh, count variable for edges also. If the count is n minus one, print result, otherwise print impossible, as simple as that. And this is the solution. I'll be providing this solution in the description of the video so you can go through yourself also. So yeah, this was all for this lecture. Thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops, keep coding. Thank you.